session uh, we are going to discuss expression for a concentration of holes in valence band of intrinsic semiconductors so if you see uh, the hole hole is a nothing but a deficiency uh, created in the valency band if you see valency band of intrinsic semiconductor uh, it will be like this here and since it is a band we study already the band is a set of energy levels and this valence band also contains a set of uh, uh, discrete energy levels which are very close to each other so among all the energy band the highest energy level or the topmost energy level of the valence band is represented by ev and the lowest energy level of the valence band can be represented as minus infinity now what we are going to discuss is uh, derive an expression for uh, the number of holes in the valency band from the energy level ev to minus infinity so concentration of holes is nothing but the number of holes per unit volume this can be also called as number of holes per unit volume or the density of holes in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor the concentration of holes per unit volume can be represented as small p which can be given as uh, p is equal to integral minus uh, infinity that means the lowest energy level of the valency band to topmost energy level of the valency band ev and the number of holes represent uh, in the valence band is equal to number of energy states per unit volume that is density of state that can be given as zero of e into d and uh, if you see all the holes may not present in all the energy levels of the valency band so among uh, all all energy levels in, in holes will be present only in few energy levels and the uh, and the occupation of electron holes in the valence band can be given as 1 minus f of e 1 minus f of e so the product of density of state z of e to d into the probability of of occupation of holes will give the number of holes in the valency band so we know the density of state z of e can be given as z of e into d is equal to 4 pi by h cube 2m whole to the power of 3 by 2 e to the power of 1 by 2 into d so we need to uh, use this equation for the equation 1 so rewriting the terms of this equation the z of e into d will become z of e into d is equal to 4 pi by h cube 2 m m is mass of the charged particle in the valence band the charged particle is hole and it can be given as m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 so energy difference that can be given as ev minus e whole to the power of 1 by 2 into d name this as equation number 2 and 1 1 minus f of e can be given as 1 minus f of e is equal to 1 minus f of e means fermi dirac distribution function it can be given as 1 by 1 plus exponential of e minus ef by kbt and realizing this term 1 minus f of e will become 1 plus exponential of e minus ef by sorry sorry here 1 minus 1 plus exponential of e minus ef by kbt and this will be equal to the power minus 1 and this f of e 1 minus f of e can be written as exponential of e minus ef by kbt name is as equation number 3 substitute equitude equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1 we get here uh, the whole density of holes can be given as p is equal integral minus infinity to ev z of e to d can be given as 4 pi by h cube 2 mh star whole to the power of 3 by 
ev minus e whole to the power of 1 by 2 de 1 minus f of e can be given as exponential of e minus ef by kvt and see in this equation we are deriving integration with respect to e so therefore the term which are independent of energy can be taken out so therefore p becomes p is equal to 4 pi by h cube 2 mh star 4 to the power of 3 by 2 in this from its exponential term minus e f by k b will be taken out so we get exponential of minus e f by k b t integral minus infinity to e v and what are the rest of the terms here e v minus e whole to the power of 1 by 2 into exponential of e by k b t into d so we have taken exponential of minus e f by k b t from the integration because we are deriving with respect to d e and whereas e f is a constant term which is the Fermi energy level of the intrinsic semiconductor it is constant at any temperature in the semiconductor so therefore this is a constant term that's why we have taken out here and this integration of minus infinity to e v e v minus e go to the power of 1 by 2 exponential of e by k b t into d can be solved by assuming so in the case of electrons also we have done the same thing so let e v minus e is equal to x so when we replace e v minus e v with x the d also should be replaced with the x therefore so the d value can be obtained by differentiating this equation so differentiation of e v is equal to 0 minus d is equal to dx so we get uh, d as minus dx so d value will be equal to dx and lower limit and upper limit also will be changes and the lower limit will becomes so lower limit will be obtained here ev minus infinity so again it will be infinity so here in the place of v we should uh, substitute the values of this lower limit and similarly upper limit will be upper limit will be ev minus ev will be 0 so here lower limit will be infinity and upper limit will be 0 and substituting these two values in the above equation we get so the density of holes p can be given as p is equal to 4 pi by h cube 2 mh star whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of minus ef by kbt and when we replace this e terms with x the lower limit will be equal to uh, infinity and the upper limit will be equal to 0 and the value of ev minus e will be x to the power of 1 by 2 and the exponential term so here what is the value of e e can be given as ev minus x ev minus x by kbt into dx and again in this term in the integration term so we are doing integration with respect to x therefore ev by kbt can be taken out so therefore we get here uh, the final equation the p can be given as p is equal to 4 pi pi h cube 2 mh star whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of so if you take an ev by k bit outside this term will becomes ev minus ef by k b t into integration so here we have minus dx so it is like similar here minus integral b to a so when we have minus infinite of this integration lower limit will become upper limit and upper limit will becomes lower limit so limits will be changed when there is a minus here it becomes 0 to infinity and therefore we have x to the power of 1 by 2 exponential of minus x by k b t into dx and this is called as gamma function and the gamma function value will be given like this here 
So therefore, writing the value of this gamma function mathematically, so we have density of force P can be given as P is equal to 4 pi pi h cube, 2 mh star whole to the power of 3 by 2, exponential of Ev minus Ef by kbt into, and the value of this gamma function will be root pi by 2 into kbt whole to the power of 3 by 2. And from here we get uh, 2, 2 bit will be cancelled here. And it is pi to the power of 1 and this pi to the power of 1 by 2. It becomes pi to the power of 3 by 2 and this can be written in the bracket here. And kbt whole to the power of 3 by 2 also can be written in the bracket here. So this becomes here p is equal to uh, 2 will be there here 2 into 2 pi mh star kbt by when this h cube is taken to the bracket it becomes h square h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 and the rest of the exponential term can be given as exponential of ev minus uh, ef by kbt and this final equation so what we have uh, p is equal to p is equal to 2 into 2 pi mh star kbt by h square into exponential of ev minus eef by kbt this equation represents a concentration of holes in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor so this peak can be called as concentration of holes in valency band or this can also be called as density of holes in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor or this can also be called as number of holes per unit volume in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor. This P can be called in three ways. It can be called as density of holes in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor or number of holes per unit volume in, of, in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor or concentration of holes in valency band of intrinsic semiconductor. If you see, the P can be given as 2. So here, mh star is called as mass of the hole kbt kb is called boltzmann constant t is called absolute temperature h planck's constant ev the topmost energy level of valency band ef fermi energy level kb boltzmann constant t absolute temperature so the density of holes all again depends upon temperature so already in the last we discussed in intrinsic semiconductors as temperature changes uh, leads to breakage of covalent bonds. If more number of covalent bonds were, are breaked in intrinsic semiconductor, more charge carriers will be created, electrons in conduction band will be created and more number of holes will be created in valence band. So therefore the density of holes is proportional to CF, it is proportional to a uh, temperature.